In the quiet, unassuming town of Holcomb, Kansas, nestled amidst the wheat fields, a chilling crime unfolded in November 1959 that would send ripples across the nation. The Clutter family, prosperous and well-respected, was brutally murdered in their secluded farmhouse, a crime that seemed to defy reason. This horrifying event would not only become a turning point in American criminal history, but also a transformative moment in literature, thanks to the investigative prowess of Truman Capote. Known for his flamboyant persona and sharp wit, Truman Capote was a celebrated figure in the literary world. Upon hearing of the Clutter family's gruesome end, he was drawn to the mystery like a moth to a flame. Armed with a notepad and the company of his childhood friend and fellow author, Harper Lee, Capote embarked on an exhaustive investigation, one that would consume six long years of his life. In those early days of the investigation, the crime scene offered more questions than answers. Four members of the Clutter family, each bound and shot at close range, their home left undisturbed, no clear motive, no suspects. Yet, Capote persevered, delving into the lives of the victims, their killers, and the town that was left shaken in the aftermath. As the case unfolded, two drifters, Richard Dick Hickok and Perry Smith, emerged as prime suspects. Through countless interviews and correspondence, Capote formed a complex and intimate understanding of these men. The murderers weren't just faceless criminals to him, they were flawed human beings, products of a flawed society. In January of 1965, Capote's tireless pursuit bore fruit in the form of In Cold Blood, a four-part serial published in The New Yorker. This was no ordinary crime story. Capote had pioneered a new genre, the non-fiction novel, blending meticulous journalism with the narrative techniques of fiction. The publication of In Cold Blood as a standalone book later that year solidified Capote's reputation as a literary genius. The book became an instant bestseller, its chilling narrative holding the nation in a grip of unease. Yet, the book's success was a double-edged sword. The toll it took on Capote was considerable, leaving him grappling with the ethical implications of his work and the emotional strain of his involvement. In essence, the Clutter family murder case and the subsequent publication of In Cold Blood marked a crossroads in American history. It shed light on the underbelly of the American dream, revealing an unsettling truth about the society we live in. Through Capote's unflinching gaze, we were forced to confront not only the capacity for evil, but also our collective responsibility for its existence. From the brutal murder of the Clutter family to the exhaustive investigation and the groundbreaking publication of In Cold Blood, we've journeyed through a chilling chapter of American history. As we reflect on these events, let us remember in the words of Capote himself, in this world we are all guilty.